what's up, man? We back over here at SEA. No, we really at JRC, but um, got an interesting video for y'all that I want to put out, but I need a hundred comments and uh, 250 likes right now if y'all want me to drop this DIY alarm video for y'all. It's real simple hooking up alarms, but if I know a lot of people gonna watch, I'm gonna put it out. But if only 50 people out of 11,000 gonna watch, I'm not gonna put it out. So. What I'm about to do today is swap these drum brakes for disc. So, got a disc brake conversion kit. Hopefully, I can get at least one side 100% complete today. Uh, where did I put the kit? Okay, one sec. I got my dolly over there, but don't seem too heavy. Let me move this over. All right. My goal is actually to get all the suspension, all the brakes, literally all of that done so I can just jump strictly to audio and wiring. So, yeah, that's my overall goal with this. So, let's look at the contents of the kit and lay it out. Owner's info. Yep, cool. Alright, some brackets, nuts and bolts. Feel like some plates or something back there. Let me see if we can get it all out. So, all in all, let me see. Let me let me not speak to someone. But all in all, it's not that many parts. So what I see is a bracket that attaches to the uh, rear end. Some brake hoses. Some, uh, another bracket, I don't know what that's for, bolts, two rotors, and some calibers. I'm guessing that's all that's here. So I know nothing's in that rotor box. Let's make sure this is this calibers. If so, man, I don't think this will take forever. Hopefully uh, in the four hours that I'm here, I can get the whole thing done. All right. Dig it. Crush rings, nuts. Hopefully it's the same size hex head. Guessing the factory cable go here. I'm pretty sure I have to do some drilling for this kit. But yeah, compared to the lift kit, it's not much parts. Definitely can dig it. And then I did paint those front calibers as y'all see. Well, yeah, the video actually hasn't come out yet, but it'll be out tomorrow. Six of the rotor, two of those. And then the instructions are online. I actually forgot, so. Yeah, let me go get it. All right, I'm back. So I got all the instructions here on my phone. Just downloaded it. It's a PDF. So start with number one. Take the drums off and um, remove the brake shoe retaining springs, and then. The brake cable, you're gonna move from the brake shoe. Success. Thank you, J Rock. All right. Let's, uh, all right. Getting this out here. You just literally push this in and turn it sideways. Y'all can see the slit on it. Yeah, push it in and turn it sideways. Y'all get the gist of what I'm saying. Alright, got that out. Uh so both sides. You can get hold both pair of shoes off. But I'm trying to record and not be in front of the camera. Uh, 
it ain't really working, man. It's not really working. So. Sorry. I'm sorry. But. Just, just stay tuned. Falling apart that we don't need. I just pulled it. It came apart. Alright, so get these old rusty drums off. They connect on the bottom with this little spring. Like such. So it's gonna be like this on the bottom then all these pieces are on the top you just pull this one spring it's gonna be like this pull this one string so i'm gonna open up and drop out your way all right now taking this uh brake line off and then immediately immediately following it said take these bolts out so that's what we're gonna do for now all right so got the brake line disconnected on to the next task here which is getting the retaining bolts off the brackets in this kit can be done installed removing the diff cover this can be done by using a cutoff wheel or reciprocating saw or splitting the drum black and paint two pieces for removal okay so we are not re uh keeping this plate so we gonna go get the reciprocating saw and make a nice cut once we get it forward to make sure we're not cutting the diff um but we better get these four bolts off and then i'm gonna show you all the cut all right don't be like me and have your brake holes leaking everywhere man man um i just took the cover piece off the um bleeding plug and put it on there so it's leaking just not as fast it was a lot like drip drip so put some uh litter down clean it all up when i'm done after multiple failed attempts we almost there set so the bracket is in the brake holes bracket is in you know it's pretty simple to put them on same holes uh, yeah so now I put my rotor on and then we adjust the caliber all right kit came with a little bit of surface rust on it so uh my child owner's gonna feel about that this part of the bracket has been tapped and dyed with uh something i don't know the size but the, the bolts come right through it and you all can see how it's mounted like that now i'll be doing brake holes so this brake holes here will go in there so it'll go in on the on this side and then locked and then the adapter or the brake holes for this will wrap around and come in into the caliber yeah right here so should be on looking for that all right they own installed everything's tip top i actually installed this caliber I mean, the other caliber on this side by mistake, looking at the pictures, it looked like that was the way it was, but it's actually on now. I kind of don't like how they set up, and I don't want to break it, so. Um, mm, yeah, the cable wraps around. The whole assembly gets bolted in there. 
pretty sweet looking setup. Definitely looks way better than the drums. As far as stopping power, we don't know yet because we're not ready to roll due to the front. But that's it for now. And we'll get an after with the wheels on so we can see exactly what it's going to look like. All right, so y'all see it looking way better. So only thing left to do, flush the brakes, which I didn't do at the front. I wanted to just do it all at once. And then uh, possibly get some new um, emergency brake lines because the lift's too tall and they're too short now. Uh, but if it wasn't lifted, it said that it'd be too long or just right. So now that it's up, it's too short, like completely. Uh, before I cut the uh, original bump stop off, it was like there, but it wouldn't go in. And I cut it off and the cable actually adjusted to the length that I was pulling it through said no no so yeah that's that man yeah that's that so i'm about to go ahead and jump on the other side try to get it done in the next hour and some change uh when i'm not recording it's a lot easier to do but i only plan on having on having to do this for one day so try to knock this out real quick got about 45 minutes do that one side let me go ahead and take care of this yep both done Good. It's converged. 